Samsung's next big weapon for the Galaxy S26 has just been leaked. And guess what? The Exynos 2600 is real, it's being tested, and it's packing a 10-core monster setup built on cutting-edge 2-nanometer tech. But it's not all good news. Despite all that hype, the benchmark scores? They're bad. Like, really bad. So what's going on here? Is Samsung in trouble? Or are we looking at a beast still waking up? Stick around, because this might just be the beginning of Samsung's comeback story, or another chapter in a long line of Exynos disappointments. Let's break it down. A mysterious device, model number S5E9965, just popped up on Geekbench 6. And that's how we know Samsung is testing the Exynos 2600. Now, what makes this chip exciting isn't just the name, it's what's inside. This thing comes with a 10-core CPU cluster. That's right, 10 cores. And it's not your typical mix of power and efficiency cores either. Samsung is possibly doing the unthinkable. They might be going for all performance cores, no efficiency cores at all. Why? because they're using their next-gen 2-nanometer GAA process, a technology that promises higher performance while cutting down power usage. It's Samsung's answer to TSMC and even Apple's lead in chip making. But there's a problem. The leaked benchmark scores are not what you'd expect from a so-called next-gen chip. The single-core score? Just 2,155. The multi-core score? A mere 7,788. That's not even close to what Qualcomm or even Apple's chips are doing right now. For comparison, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scores way above that. And don't even mention Apple's A-series chips. So what gives? Before you panic, here's the thing. These scores, they're from an early test unit. The Exynos 2600 is still in development, still being tuned and optimized. And that low score? It's like judging a runner based on their warm-up jog. We've seen this before. Early prototypes always underperform. The clock speed maxed out at 3.55 GHz in this test, but it could go much higher in the final version. Samsung reportedly started prototype mass production of the Exynos 2600 back in June. They're using the 2NM GAA gate all-around process, something they've been developing to leap ahead of the competition. According to insiders, the final design should be ready by Q3 this year. And if everything goes according to plan, Samsung will push for full-scale production just in time for the Galaxy S26 series in 2026. But that's not the whole story. Samsung isn't just building a chip, they're building a comeback strategy. For years, Exynos chips have lived in the shadows of Qualcomm Snapdragons and Apple's Bionic chips. They've been hotter, they've been slower, and they've left users frustrated. But now, Samsung is aiming for something different. They want control, they want performance, and most importantly, they want respect. So, what happens next? Over the next few months, Samsung will keep fine-tuning the Exynos 2600, pushing the clocks, tweaking the thermals, improving the scores. If they get it right, we might finally see an Exynos chip that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Snapdragon. But if they stumble again, well, we all remember the Exynos 2200 disaster, don't we? This is a high-stakes game, and the clock is ticking. So, while the benchmark scores today might seem disappointing, what we're really looking at is a work in progress. A blueprint for what could be Samsung's most powerful chip ever. The Exynos 2600 might be down right now, but don't count it out. With the power of 2 nanometer GAA, a 10-core performance design, and a global spotlight on the Galaxy S26, Samsung is clearly swinging for the fences. Are you rooting for Exynos to make a comeback, or do you think Samsung should just stick with Snapdragon? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future updates on the Galaxy S26, Snapdragon Elite 2, and other epic tech stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.